five important facts on diabetes and periods. Most people don't realize this, but diabetes affects periods and reproductive health. Diabetes is a condition where your ability to metabolize or break down the food you eat is impaired. This can be because your body, specifically your pancreas, doesn't produce enough insulin, or because your body isn't able to effectively use the insulin that it produces, also known as insulin resistance. This leads to elevated levels of glucose or sugar in the blood, and in cases of insulin resistance, elevated insulin levels as well. During our reproductive years, diabetes is associated with many menstrual abnormalities. The relationship between diabetes and periods is ultimately explained by hormones. Our hormones, estrogen and progesterone, are the ones primarily responsible for triggering our menstrual cycles. But that's not all that they do. Estrogen plays a role in bone health, heart health, brain health, and more. Estrogen also has effects on our metabolic health. It has been shown to increase glucose uptake as well as insulin release, ultimately improving glucose metabolism. Insulin, the hormone responsible for metabolizing glucose, also affects menstrual cycles. Abnormally high insulin levels can disrupt the function of our ovaries and prevent or decrease the frequency of ovulation, which is the ovaries release of the egg. For all of these reasons, here are five important facts about diabetes and periods. Number one, diabetes is most associated with irregular bleeding and amenorrhea, or the absence of periods for at least three or more months, primarily due to anovulation or infrequent ovulation. Number two, many period irregularities that occur in patients with diabetes can often be improved by better control of blood sugars. Number three, studies have shown that women who have irregular and infrequent periods are at greater risk for developing diabetes. Number four, around menstruation, people with diabetes may notice changes in their blood sugars. They may run high or they may run low. It's proposed that these changes may be due to cravings that may occur around menses or other hormonal factors. Tracking periods along with blood sugar levels may allow for better insight into ways to optimize blood sugar management around your periods. And number five, because diabetes affects ovulation and ovulation is necessary for conception or pregnancy, fertility can often be improved with better diabetic management and control. It's not something we talk about often, but it's important to understand our metabolic and reproductive hormones are intricately intertwined, meaning our periods affect our diabetes and our diabetes affects our periods. If we pay attention, we will find that periods provide us with valuable insight into our overall health. And above all, I wish you health.